Hi, I'm here at the ID Ticket Show with Jan Hedren, who's going to show you what they're up to over at Ericsson. Jan. Okay. Yeah, what we have here is uh, one way of start thinking about what we can do with a, with a touch. This is some years ago now, but what we did was the thinking about what can we connect. So we connected a tree. And this is an ordinary olive tree. It's got a sensor down there. The, the entire tree is, is now part of the system. And I've got the computer. You can say that the computer represents the cloud. It's, it's, it's connected. Now, I touch this tree, and you're going to hear sounds. That's nice. So what we do here is do text-to-speech. When I touch the tree, mm -hmm. I close that the circuit. Good. And uh, on the screen down here, you can see the feed from, from the tree. When I touch this tree, I need more. It's, it goes up, and sometimes, you know, then it could be also a little bit more proximate. Glad to meet you. We can also see that I have my phone somewhere. It's here. So I, we have embedded now a rule here. And so Do that again for the jackpot. SMS notifications. Now I'm going to get an SMS on that one. Now here we go. Here you got it. Connected tree. So, so how does it work? Uh, oh, it works. How, what's going on with the sensor? How does it work? How can you, do you have any kind of electricity in your body? No, right? but you are a capacitance. And the tree is a capacitance. And we are also resistors. So what I do here is I close an electric circuit. I need more. I'm at the floor. That one is on the floor. And I have the sensor over here. And then I, I get that information into the, the computer, or you could say that would be the network if it was something. And this is not just for fun now. One can think of real applications also. Let's say you want to have a monitoring system of a, of a house. You could really connect the, the, the windows, the doorstep, and you could even have pots in your garden. Being part of that alert system, if somebody passes by or touches something and nobody should be there, then it's, then it's a sort of a alert, uh, alarm system or security system. But you could also have non-intrusive sensors. Let's say you have an old mother, she loves your techie son, but she don't want his tech anywhere in her, her place back home. But you want to know that she's going to her. Uh, uh, to a bathroom that she is in the kitchen eating breakfast and so on. So you can really hook up the, the door to the bathroom. You can hook up the, the ordinary table in, in, the, in the room and so on. And then you have this sort of system. And if she's not there, then you don't get it. I mean, it's sort of the opposite thing. You don't get the SMS. She hasn't been there. So then you just call her. Yeah, that so is how something. is uh, Ericsson bringing this to market? What are you doing to yeah. commercialize this? <laughs> this is not really commercializing. Yeah. This is more explorative things. So what we did then after this was that, okay, well now we have this electrical circuit. We could send information in, in what we see as machine to nature. Uh, we did also then think about the touch. I mean, we use a great deal of our brain touching things. So if we can trans transfer information, for instance, if I have something here, I want to share this tiny little illustration. I want to share it on this screen, and we are a bunch of people. Then everybody could look at this tiny screen, or I could use myself touching a screen, sending information to me, an image over there, or, or thinking about having this one, and I have my passcodes in this one. I have it in my pocket. I just touch the doors. I get in if, if, if that is what I should be able to do. Or I send an SMS to somebody, give them a one pass to someone. So what we are doing here is in the network society thinking, what we real, realize is that we need to cooperate. We need to open up for new industries. Everybody has an understanding of what mobile devices and mobile technology is. Our networks are everywhere. So it's easier now to, to bring the discussion going on. Everybody can relate to it. Everybody understands a phone. Everybody yeah. understands browsing. You, couldn't really, you could really talk to experts 15 years ago about what to do in those contexts. That's uh, awesome. But now you can talk yeah. to anybody, and every, everybody understands what it is. And here you have another demo. Yeah. So thinking about the organic world, the organic world is, is us, it's the nature, it's everything. And if we want to interface with nature, why don't we try to use organic electronics or printed electronics? Because 
then we can really reach out and, and do this, uh, what I would say, browsable world. For instance, here I have a specially designed tablet. It is me as a wire. I touch something and when I touch this, the identity is th sent through my body into the device over here. And now I can put, take this down because now I got, it's like picking web links. I got information about that certain package. So I know where it's heading. I can get information about that. I can get information about where it's been because this could also be transferred. Now I'm using myself as a wire, but it could have been the lorry. It could have been any, any place that that package has passed where you have these sort of readers, then you can get information about what's happening. So what's people. unique about that package that allows you to detect what that is it's, versus another It's package? an identity. It's just like, like you have a web address. That web address, we read it as, let's say, www.ericsson.com, but in the computer world, it's a, a serial of zeros and ones. So what we have in this package, or in, in this other package over here, it's 128 bits, zeros and ones, which is a web link, by the way, IP version 6 is, is that. Then you've got that identity in here. And then you, this device then uses the mobile networks of Ericsson, <laughs> go somewhere in the network to, to the cloud, get information, that identity is right. this package. Right. And uh, as I showed earlier on, if you take, you can just do the math. Take 2 power 128 and you get an incredible number. It's much, much, much more than there are stars in the universe. Uh, and uh, so, so you can really, you don't really run out of identities. You can and, and so if you had to put anything unique on the package to mm -hmm. distinguish one package from another, or is it all done in software? How, how, what's the... Yeah, you, you, you need to have this, you need to have this memory. This right, identity. So memory on there. Yeah, right, right. if you want to have that, you could have a group identity on this. Okay, for instance, if right. that is what you really is the purpose. So that is the way you, you do it. But you need to have an as unique identity on right. the can or whatever for this application to do something. Right. But, but, but when you get it here, then you can start doing this. For instance, this is Choco Heaven, which is the hands-free situation of, of, of picking something. Then me, I'm allergic to nuts. So when I pick it, I get this alert, I can get the ingredients and I see, don't eat this. Or it could also have been that I'm shopping for my family and in my family there is somebody who's allergic to something and I get alerts. So right. you can start doing things here, which you cannot do if it's static on the... Right. So in this uh, prototype right here, uh, what, what do you have uh, as hardware right now in here and how did you modify the, yeah. the tablet? Inside this is a sender of, of information and we have the, the identity and then there is a printed antenna also. Uh, now we've done used silk on here to, to get it going. So what's happening here, that when I touch this package, it sends the identity through me into the application and then the app knows that that identity is correlated with a, a package. A so you package. have battery powered uh, sender and yes. a special yes. uh, adapter receiver. Yeah. So this is re this is really no product. This is a proof of concept, or I would say pre-proof of concept. Uh, start starting to explore something that could be around some years from now. But we hear the printed electronics uh, conference and. Yeah. Uh, so is the is idea, is a dream that this could be printed and yeah, very cheap? Absolutely. It, sh it, should be sh it should be, yes, uh, that is really the, the key thing that we wanted to go to this sort of uh, showcases was that if you want to reach out to everything in the world, then everything in the world has print on it. If we can have printed electronics on it, sending these tiny little 128 data bits to our mobile device, then we can utilize all the power that is in, in a smartphone which is tremendous actually, and we could also utilize, which is even more tremendous, all the power that is up in the network and get information associated with everything. That is uh, sort of the, the, uh, the, the idea. So I'm really excited to see what's, what's here now. And uh, we've been working together with uh, Linköping University, ICREO and others to, to really get this going in the first, first phase. Because it needs to be costing just a few cents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It needs to be mass produced like by the millions per and, day, and it very needs cheaply. To be, which was also uh, uh, said by historians, so it needs to be sustainable. Sustainable recycling. We need to have, yeah. I mean, we cannot add uh, Waste. unsustainable things to all the packages there is in the world. Um, so it needs to be very, very... So perhaps it can be melted and reprinted. 
yes, like the ink reused, and reused. Perhaps if we can use whatever. And idea. energy harvesting could be one way. Absolutely, and, you, and need, you need energy harvesting, whatever way that is that is possible to send the transformer signal is very important because a package, for instance, a package is almost always lonely. Nobody is there, so why should it be powered up? Maybe it's only you powered mean, when you touch wake it. Wake it up, yeah, wake it up, or it gets energy by shaking, gets energy by electromagnetic energy coming from uh, access points, the sun, you name it. Uh, I think there is a lot of innovation. But sure, energy is important, energy harvesting, printing it, sustainability and all that. And, and the price must be very, very low, otherwise it won't be there. You were suggesting maybe even touching a table, then this transaction yes. as a payment. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, when we started out with capacity of coupling, one could say that we, we didn't start out with uh, printed electronics. We, we started out with a, a simple things like, uh, I want to send a picture to a, a, a flat screen, and it's that flat screen. I do not want to pair it in my settings. I just want to touch and send the picture and show my friends, just snap it like that. And then we did send uh, music pairing by wearing, and I put the earphones in and they should be associated. That's what we, the way we started. But then we really wanted to aim for something that is higher than that. So we went to check out, is printed electronics going to make it? Uh, or when is printed electronics going to make it? When can we do industrialization of this, reaching out to all those packages, all whatever has print on it, which is, of course, much more than packages. Cool. So hopefully it's happening very soon. Yes, I hope so. I hope so, absolutely. Because I, I think the, the power of touch, I've called it, that is the simplicity of touching things. That is why we love to have a touch screen. It's not the touch screen per se, it's because we are designed to touch things. So that's why we think it's simple to do it. We are not designed to go into the internet, to the settings of our smartphone, finding a, a difficult name of something. That is not the way we are designed. So that is why I think this is a very, very interesting way.